This is Harlequin One. The building pretty much embodies what we as a company are all about. Yes, it's big and impressive, but running through the building you'll find Sky's ethos at its heart. Our constant desire to believe in better. I'm Troy Smith, Director of Broadcast Services, and Harlequin One is a truly remarkable building. It's 100 metres long and 45 metres wide, so each floor is the size of a football pitch. And we have five floors in this building, so we have five football pitches worth of space. We'll be running over a million metres of cable to support over 30,000 individual pieces of equipment and is in fact one of the largest installations of its type in the world. So just the sheer scale of everything that we're doing is something that Sky's never done before. We've worked at making Harlequin One the most sustainable building we possibly could. A good example is the mixed mode ventilation where we'll be using outside air to cool the studios and exhaust the air through the chimneys. We're hoping to be able to run the studios without actually turning the air conditioning on at all. All in all, Harlequin One is one of the most people oriented sustainable and technically advanced content production facilities in the whole world. I'm John Lennon, Director of Broadcast Operations. Every single day on the Oskley campus, we move about 4,000 tapes. Tapes are buried under people's desks, they're hidden in cupboards, they might be in the library, they might be on the way to the library. So this allows us to centralise and to store all of our content in a digital format and then enable the producer to access that material from their desk it will greatly increase the uh, productivity, it will allow greater creativity um, and much more time will be spent doing the important work. There are three main stages to this process, making, shaping and sharing. And we've actually stacked this building in a similar way. The ground floor where we have our studios is effectively the making. The middle floors where we have our post-production, that's shaping. And then when we get up to the top floor, or our transmission and our delivery to all of our platforms, that's sharing. And allows to deliver great content to our customers, both now and into the future. My name is Darren Long, I'm Director of Operations here in Sky Sports. Within media, there is nothing like this building. This building is a first. It's a first because of how well this building has been designed from an environmental point of view. We're now coming into a building that is fit for purpose and I think there's a lot of people who can't wait to get in here and start working with the building but equally working in a new way in an exciting way. So we're currently standing in the Sky Sports newsroom and behind us we're getting ready now for the sets that we're starting to look at and build and we're seeing what the camera angles are for those uh, particular sets. There's a lot to do so it's really full tilt to actually get this thing operational up and running. It's really going to be a unique and exciting building to work within. I'm Barbara Gibbon, I'm Head of Entertainment Production and I just can't wait to get my hands on this enormous studio space. OK, so it's a bit of a building site at the moment, but just imagine, we could be recording Sky One's A League of Their Own here. Audience 250, 300, no problem. Across the corridor in Studio One's gallery, the DA for Sky Arts Playhouse Live is counting down to on air. They're about to do 45 minutes of live theatre. Live theatre that's going to grip and enthrall the small audience gathered there. Oh, remember these? So yesterday. Everything's stored digitally now. The amazing thing about working tapelessly is that it offers the promise of being able to concentrate on really the thing that matters, which is the content. So no more searching for tapes. No more, I can't find a machine to view it on. No more, the tape's got dropout. If it's there, you should be able to find it. This building will set us free. The only limit is our imagination.